Oh, hello, viewers. Welcome back. I am Prophet Estela to say it is speaking. The message I have received today is a message for Bishop David Oyedepo and all winners, churches worldwide. Bishop David Oyedepo, Nigeria, world. Winners, churches, living faith worldwide. Oyedepo's pastors worldwide. Here, Nigerian pastors and every pastor worldwide. Hear what God said I should tell all of you. Enoch Adeboye, all of you. Hear what God said I should tell you. Nigerian government, hear what God said I should tell all of you. Everything is inclusive in this video. The message is not for Oyedepo alone. For every one of you that I've mentioned. Here, listen and hear what God said I should tell all of you that you should do. God bless you all as you listen. Pay attention, special attention to this message from beginning to the end of it. It's a long message, but please listen and do what God said you should do immediately. That it shall be well with everyone. God bless you. I am Prophet Estalatus Edu speaking. God bless you. God said, tell David Oyedepo, tell Oyedepo and the world, I said, he should call all his family, family members, to come to him. Every one of them, wherever they are, they should come to him. I want to see them together in the house with Oyedepo, in the house with him, his family. God said you should call all your family members, all oh, wherever they are. Bring them to your home. We want to see them with you in your house. Tell Oyedepo, I said, on the 5th of May, 2024, on Sunday, they should, call, they should all come out to the altar and stand before me in front of all his church members worldwide. Tell him, I said, he should televise it for everyone to see, to see them on the altar, just like what they do in Shiloh, he should do the same on television for everyone to see them. To see him and his family on the altar standing together before me and everyone. Tell Oyedepo, I said, I said he should go on his knees together with, his, with all his family before his congregation. In all his churches worldwide. I want him to apologize to his members worldwide. He should ask them to forgive him for all the wrongdoings he has done to them. They should forgive him for doing bad to them. Tell Oyedepo I said, Oyedepo's members in all his churches will drag him to pay them their money which they have sown into his ministry. And Oyedepo must have to pay them back their money. He must have to pay them their money back. He will be in trouble and will have crisis because I have seen his doings. I have seen his doings. Tell him I said, I have seen his record and all the things he has done to people is before me. His record and all the things he has done to people is before me. God said you, you should come out with all your family members and be on the altar. All your family members, no one should be left behind. All of them should come to you. And you should go out on, on Sunday, the 5th of May, to the altar and stand before him and before the congregation worldwide 
all your churches you should televise it worldwide just like you do you, what you do during Shiloh that everyone should see view what is happening in your church on that day you should do it God said you should go on your knees you and all your family on your knees but you should open your mouth and ask your congregation worldwide to forgive you for what you have done to them for every wrongdoing you have done to them they should forgive you because your record is before him he, is, he has seen your wrongdoings everything is registered before him God said want you to do it because you'll be in trouble your church members will drag you to cry in to throw into trouble and crisis that you will not be able to come out you will suffer God said God said he wants you to do what he said you should do on that day don't fail God said Hello, beloved. Welcome back to our YouTube channel. I brought you an interesting video. I believe you have heard what Prophetess Talatu Said has to say concerning David Oyedipo and what God told her to tell him and what he needs to do. So, guys, I'm not really going to talk to bore you much, but there are some few things I just want us to talk about chit chat here. Um, I came across this prophecy and it was an interesting one and a mind-blowing one for that matter but I just decided to share it with you guys. There are lots of things this woman this woman of God has been saying. I believe I brought one of her video um, no more than one on this channel for you people to actually see and hear what God has revealed to her to tell people especially Tinibu and so many men of God. Today it's for Oyedipo, David Oyedipo, and all the members of Winner Chapel. As you all know, a lot is happening, and in the body of Christ, pastors are being dragged. They are dragging each other and all that, and in the terms of tithe and offering, a lot of pastors, big, big pastors, big, big names like David Oyedipo, um, Papa E. Adeboye, and all that, a whole lot of them, they have been there have been drugs on social media consigning tithe and offering by Ebed Damina and all that. I don't really know what he did, but she says that his record and all that is in the front of God. And God said that he has gone through it. And what he needs to do is that the way he normally celebrates Shilu, that is what he wants him to do. He should gather his member to his entire family member to his home and speak to them. Then on the 5th of May, this prophecy was for last month for David Oedipo to carry it out on last month that he should come out in front of the entire congregation with his entire family go on his knee and apologize to the entire member for taking their money and all that and their investment and I'm like wow this is serious because nobody is putting a gun to anybody's head to actually give offering and tithe. It's your choice. It's your belief. You feel like you need to give that tithe and offering for God to open doors for you. You need to sow that seed for God to open doors for you. It's what work for you, you do and all that. And then there's another thing that I start questioning myself and I start asking why. And I was like, why God, if you wanted to pass a such message to David Oedipo, um, why not pass it directly to him because these are great men of God in Nigeria and they hear from God di directly but who am I? Who am I? Who am I? Sometimes God walk in a mysterious way so we can't tell the ways of God are not the way of man. People that we hold high and mighty in the presence of God, it may not even be compared to an aunt and all that and I start to correct myself. Probably God actually gave her this message to actually pass across to the video edipo and the entire nigeria to make sure that this message actually gets to him and i'm sure that i didn't hear such thing but i heard that it's been dragged and that is what she is saying in this video that if he fails to carry out this exercise he will be dragged by a lot of his member and all that and you know there has been a shake on social media this past few weeks months and all that concerning men of god and all that and people are now start to like question their tithes and offerings and all that what do they actually do with this money because they don't really 
sow it into the body of Christ. It doesn't reflect Christ. What it reflects is riches, private jets, um, building of house, acquiring properties, one of the richest pastors in Africa, number three in the world, and all that. That is what their money actually represents. And I feel like a lot of people are now starting to question a whole lot of things, but we're going to like go into that bit by bit. So I don't know if you start questioning your offering and tie that you're being given to a pastor and all that. Please do what works for you. If God tell you to, oh, go to the streets, bless somebody, not even necessarily in the street, somebody in your area or in your neighborhood, your offering and tithe, you can actually give to that person and you feel okay, you feel fulfilled, you feel satisfied after doing that for that person. That is also giving to God and giving back to the community of God. I feel like Christ even said that if you say you love me, love your neighbor the way you love yourself and all that. And I feel like we don't carry out that exercise as much. All we do is just to go and put big envelope in the church tight bowl and church offering bowl to feel like we are in charge. Some people will even hold the hundred dollar note to, to to showcase it and see that they are giving in hard currencies and all that in some of all those big big churches and that part actually got me and all that and i'm like god what are we doing so please 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 that is what the woman of god is actually warning so please do well to share this video to make sure that it gets to the right people to make sure that david oyedipo actually get to see this video one day and be able to carry out this particular exercise so that his name and that of his family will be um, saved and set free so that no harms come to them, no public disgrace come to them and all that because it will not be easy. Nigeria can drag the hell out of you. They can actually drag life out of your body. That one there, I can tell you for free. This is Nigeria because people are so, 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 so um, disturbed when it comes to some kind of negative comments and all that. But I'm not here to judge anybody. It's their principle and it's how they feel. That is how they pour out their frustrations and all that so guys that is just the message i said let me share it with you guys but before i go please if you have not subscribed to our channel can you pause those videos subscribe comment like share or family and friends so that you don't miss out on any of our content and don't forget to turn on the post notification to get notified whenever i upload a new video thank you very much for watching i will see you in the next one bye for now guys <laughs>